Hey there Pathless Peddlers, in this video I've got another exclusive bike review just for you guys. We're going to take a look at one of the most hyped bikes at this year's Saddle Drive and that's the All City Cosmic Stallion. Is it as magical a bike as it sounds? Find out in this video. So first off I really want to thank the folks at Joe Bike for letting me take this bike out and getting it dirty for this review. Uh, I didn't get a chance to make it to Saddle Drive this year but I wanted to review this bike because it was talked about everywhere on the interwebs. Um, and also because I actually own the original Space Horse. I was really curious to see how this bike, the Cosmic Stallion, would compare to the original one. So before I get into the ride quality of the bike, let's uh, talk a little bit about the specs that it ships with. Uh, it comes shod with the Clement MSOs at 40 millimeters wide. On the front end, it's got a whiskey carbon fork, uh, which nicely has eyelets for fender mounts. Uh, which is definitely a necessity here in the Pacific Northwest. In terms of gearing, it's a 11-speed SRAM rival group set uh, with hydraulic brakes, which are super, super nice. And the shifting is really crisp and light. So a really good uh, spec build in terms of the controls. The chain rings up front are a compact double, so 5034. And on the rear, it's an 11-speed cassette uh, that goes up to a 30-tooth cog. A couple other nice touches on the frame is that it has mounts for three water bottles and on the rear it's got all the eyelets for a rack and fender. The handlebars are a salsa cowbell which uh, I actually love. I have them on all, all my bikes. They're a drop style bar uh, but with a fairly shallow drop and just a touch of flare so uh, not super aggressive and it makes really usable space to get into the drops. A couple other things to note, uh, especially compared to the OG Space Horse, is that this bike uses a front and rear front axle and of course it's a disc brakes. Uh, gone are the days of the uh, old school cantilever rim brakes. So one of the, the big pieces of buzz about this bike is the tubing. It's a uh, special tubing for All City called Ace and it's supposed to be lightweight and has special bedding and you can definitely feel that in the top tube where it's slightly ovalized. And just a quick note about sizing. Uh, All City has a really strange uh, sizing nomenclature with their Space Horse. On their original Space Horse, I actually have a 49 and the top tube is a 52. And this is a 52 size frame, but the top tube is, the effective top tube length is actually a 54 and they spec it with a really long stem. So to make this 52 rideable for me, I had to swap out uh, the really long zip stem and put a slightly shorter uh, salsa stem that I had lying around. So that's enough for the uh, specs and numbers. Let's hop on the bike and see how it rides. So the All City Cosmic Stallion is positioned as a endurance gravel all roads bike. Oh, bumpy. And I'd say that's fairly accurate. Hopping on the bike, the first thing I notice is that it just feels nicely balanced. Neither too quick or too slow, which some people love, but some people will hate. But in terms of like a uh, all day riding bike, I actually think it's a really nice design. The bike feels uh, pretty stable in its handling, both in the rear and in the front. It uh, kind of goes where you want it to go without too many surprises in terms of the handling. So the wheelbase is a touch on the long side and that adds to the uh, general stability of the bike. I think in terms of comparing it to the OG Space Horse, this bike is really an evolutionary step. It's not uh, leagues different in terms of ride quality. The front end is probably a little bit more precise in terms of steering, probably a function of the through axle carbon fork. If anything, I feel like the rear end has maybe stiffened up a bit, but the OG Space Horse just has, had a really plush ride and this feels a little bit stiffer, slightly more performance oriented. I don't think it's necessarily mind blowing, especially if you've ridden an older Space Horse. I can definitely see this bike being awesome for those long day rides, uh, gravel events, or even some light gravel bike packing. So in terms of uh, climbing ability from the original Space Horse, I feel like it's about on par, maybe slightly stiffer in the rear end, but not by much. Right, so I've had a chance to take the All City Cosmic Stallion through its paces, and the words that come to mind are well-mannered and stable. It's a nicely balanced bike. It's not super race quick, 
I wouldn't say it's a sprinter's bike or an all-out uh, climbing road bike in the back, but it is predictable and it, it lends itself to a nice balanced ride. In terms of how I see this bike being used, I think it's a perfect bike for all-day road rides, uh, for long gravel rides, and even some light uh, gravel bike packing. Compared to the All City Space Horse that I've had for years, I think it's definitely a evolutionary step. It's kind of a modernized, sleeker version of the Space Horse. I mean, it uses disc brakes, it's got a carbon fork, slightly uh, more sophisticated tubing, but it still maintains the same ride qualities I really like about the Space Horse. For me, one of the reasons I would consider upgrading to the Cosmic Stallion, aside from just having disc brakes, is the ability to run multi-wheel sizes. Uh, I think it's a great bike as it is with a 700 by 40 uh, Clement MSOs, but I think the bike would really come alive with a 650B tire, something from Compass or some of the new WTB uh, Road Plus tires. It would just give you that much more suspension, that much, that much more grip, and uh, spin up a little bit faster. I think for some people, this could be uh, all the bike you would ever need. You could use it for gravel events, you could use it for commuting. You know, I love the fact that it has a fender mount that makes it super useful and utilitarian. You could put a rack on it. Uh, you could do long road rides. Uh, this really is kind of your Swiss Army Knife bike. So what about the fancy ACE tubing that was all abuzz and saddle drive? I think it makes for a lighter bike, but uh, by no means is it a light bike. Uh, I think it stiffened up uh, some parts of the bike. So there is kind of a noticeable change, nothing uh, completely mind-blowing, but definitely a nice upgrade. If you don't already have an All Roads Gravel Explorer, then I would definitely uh, consider this bike. Uh, if you have one, uh, it might not be as much of an immediate need to upgrade to this unless it has some features you really like. So if you're looking for a super fast and nimble and racy bike, this bike probably isn't for you. But if you want a nice all-rounder that, that you can ride all day uh, comfortably, then definitely uh, consider the All City Cosmic Stallion. So lots to like about the Cosmic Stallion. And again, I want to thank uh, the folks at Joe Bike for letting me take this bike out and getting it dirty so I can give you guys this review. So if you want to buy this uh, particular bike, uh, it's a size 52. They have it in stock at Joe Bike. Uh, stop by their shop if you're in Portland for other gravel bikes like this. And if you guys uh, have any questions about the Cosmic Stallion, leave those in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer those. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you love bike nerdy content like this, uh, be sure to subscribe. We've got a ton more bike reviews coming up in the future. And uh, that's it, so thanks for watching.